Hey, what's up world? Today, I wanna to share my pair method that you can use to liven up your speeches, liven up all of the content that you create, and get people feeling what you need them to feel so that they're ready to take action. Okay, everyone, let's talk about the pair method. P-E-A-R. Pair method is what I use in all of my speeches, in every single one of my bits of content, wherever possible, so that I can make things juicy. If you've ever eaten a pear, imagine it is a fruit that fits in the palm of your hand. You have ones that are really smooth, I think those are Bartlett pears, and you have ones that are a little more like sandpaper, like well-worn sandpaper. They have a deep color, a nice little texture, their smell is really nice, it's kind of heavy, it looks a little bit like a light bulb, and then when you bite into it, when your teeth pierce the flesh of the fruit and the skin, there's that difference in texture. There's that brush of juice to your palate, and then there's also the crunch from the difference between the skin and the pulp on the inside. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's nice. Again, if you're not allergic to it, that is. And then you eat it. And within a couple of minutes, the pear is done and you need to wipe your hands off and go wash them. And if it's a summer day and it's a nice hot day, maybe you'll have a second pear because it was just so good, so juicy, so delicious. You want more. And this is the type of way we want people to feel and ingest our stories, right? We want people to be like, man, that was so good. Can you tell me more? Can you tell me another one? How can I find out more about you and about the stories that you have? This is what we want and need to do as speakers, presenters, consultants. Whether you're presenting a data chart, telling a great story is always going to make that data, that conversation, and that action you want people to take to become one that is stronger, more present, and quite frankly, something that's real to your audience. So let's talk about how to do this, the PAIR method. Obviously it's an acronym and it stands for the following. P means present, okay? Present. Tell your stories in the present tense, every single one of them. Talk about things that are happening right then and there, right now, like I'm experiencing the moment with you. Don't tell me about that thing that happened six weeks ago or 17 years ago, <clears throat> as in you're, you're looking back on it. Take me there, right there in that moment where you are walking in the room, the sun is shining brightly in your face, and you slip right now and fall on the back of your head, or whatever the story is that you wanna share. Take me to that exact moment, right then and there in present tense. Why this is really important, if you are especially online, especially online, in a virtual situation, a virtual presentation, people can go off to a, another tab or on their cell phone or get pulled into something else. And this is gonna happen anyway, but it especially happens when you're recounting something that happened. But if you are telling something that is happening, now I too am involved in that moment. You're pulling me from wherever I am into the moment with you. And if you pull me into the moment with you, now I get to add my own life, my own situation, my own circumstances and experiences into that moment to make it more real as you explain it. So P stands for present. P stands for present. The next is E. This stands for emotions. So while we're walking through that room that you're in, what are you feeling? What emotions are, ex are involved in this story for you? Label those emotions. You need to help me to feel as well. You need to give me the emotions that you have because chances are that I too will feel the same emotions as you. And you need to, as a speechwriter, as a presenter, as a person who tells stories, you need to create a motif to allow your audience to actually get into their own emotions and take their own stories and put them directly into the story that you're telling. Remember, you're gonna hear me say this all the time. Your story is 
the whole purpose of your, your story is to help your audience tell their own story better. Now, that could mean they're doesn't necessarily mean they're on stage telling their story, but it just means that they can resonate with what you are talking about and see themselves in that story. So keep that directly in the front of your mind when you're telling a story and label the emotions you feel. Because when you're feeling them in that exact moment, right? if you just slipped on some black ice or on a banana peel and you have that fear of falling, I can feel that fear too as your audience member. So please label all the emotions that you need and all the emotions you feel as you're telling the story because that's gonna get your audience to drop in and pay attention as well. The next is A, which stands for atmosphere. Describe the room. Give me an idea of the smells, the texture, the sounds. Paint, paint a picture for me in your mind, in, within my mind of what room we are in. What does it feel like? Were there floorboards that caused your left knee to go below your right knee, which agitated your back? And then as it creeped up again, you heard a cat scurry across the tile in the back. And then the bells were distantly dingling as in the triangle that is in the kitchen because the wind is blowing through the... You get it. Anyway, add atmosphere. Give me some clear details about the place that we are in so I can visualize it in my mind. I can see myself right there. There's another quote I love and you'll often hear from me and it's from Horace that says, you need to change only the name and the story is about you. So if you're telling me a story and you're using these elements from the pair method, talking in the present, talking about the emotions that you feel in the present tense, giving me the atmosphere that I need to understand where and what is happening and to see myself in it, you've now led me to the R of the pair method, which is response. It has elicited a response because if you are telling me this story and it's made you feel a certain way and caused you to take a certain type of action in your life, in your business, if I'm there with you in present tense, feeling what you're feeling and can visualize every small detail of the place that we're in together in real time, now you've elicited that same response from me. Now I'm yours, now I'm on your team, and now I want more. So that, friends, is the pair method that I use to create speeches, to write content, and to stay present in the way that I tell stories for my audience. If this is an interesting method to you, please let me know down below, and I'm happy to provide a worksheet as well if you just ping me down below. I'll get you the worksheet for the pair method so that you can use it as you create content and get your stuff tight and drop people directly into it. To sum all of this up, pair stands for present, emotions, atmosphere, and response. And if you use all those together, you're gonna to help your audience tell their own story better through the device of your story. I'm Steven Steers signing off for now, and I'll see you soon for another quick video.